morning everyone, it is 3 a.m. and I'm ready for work. So, I am dressed, ready to go. Ready? Ready? Look, I can do a trick. Blah. I'm pregnant. <laughs> no. So that's what my posture actually is. Got the little Hyundai logo. <sighs> it's 3 a.m. and I am so tired and cold right now. I've packed up my bag. I'm currently looking for an Uber. Looks like I might have to settle for an Uber taxi. I haven't done a taxi yet. So I may have to give that one a go. But yeah, it's cold. Let's go to work. I've now finished work and I'm tired. It is just after 8. It's 8.04 and it's currently 6 degrees and it is freezing. I am on my way home. I am going to chill out. Possibly have breakfast, possibly shower, because I have a day shift at Luna Park today at 12:15, and I'm just wrecked. I ended up having a break, and when I had my break, there was no food available, so I had to go for a quick walk. And all I could find was coffee and a slice of banana bread for nine dollars. So that was such a ripoff. Today's match was Germany against Brazil, and it was intense. It was. Crazy. Germany set a new world record, seven goals for a semi-final match. And four of those goals were in eight minutes. Eight minutes, it was crazy. So, yeah, as you can see, it's really nice and sunny today. And the poor Brazilians, at least they got one goal in. So that's something. The atmosphere for the Brazilians at work was really, like, glum and glue at me, but uh, the Germans were loving it. <laughs> at the moment it is 10 o'clock and I am on my way to the car so I can drive to Luna Park. This sun is amazing but the rest of the air, the atmosphere is freezing cold. Let's see how cold it is because this wind has a really bad bite to it. It's not making me happy. So it's 14 degrees at the moment. So. Yeah, it's so cold. So I'm going to work early so I can buy some food, um, have another coffee and have a nap before I start. I mean, I've already had a coffee and clearly that's not working because I already started falling asleep when I was at home. So let's go to work early and have a nap there so at least I'm there for when it's time to work. <laughs> so we're here at the park. I got my food and my coffee. Where's the clowns? Uh, I think you can also queue up. Yeah. Uh, which one is this? The middle one or this one? This is the So, this is the traffic that I am facing at the moment, trying to get to work. It is currently almost 5 o'clock and I'm stuck in traffic. Luna Park was really crowded, so that was really good. First two appearances were great. Third appearance there, eh, the crowd wasn't so meh. They weren't as interactive, but it was still a good crowd nonetheless. I am exhausted, I am tired, I've been fed, I've had my dinner. Not happy with the food that I've been eating the past week, week and a half, because it's all been junk food, like actually legit deep fried, high carb, high fat, junk food so it's been bad. I'm feeling it around my waist, I'm feeling it in my skin and it's not very good so I'm excited for when I can start cooking again and when I've got money again so I can start buying proper food all that sort of stuff because I need to get back on the wagon. I would like to get through this traffic and to work and hopefully I get there with enough time so I can take a little nap but we will see how we go. Breakdown in the right lane of the M5 East Tunnel. Traffic restrictions now apply within the M5E's and Cooks River Tunnel. Please move over to assist the response vehicle as they are approaching. For your safety, please observe all signage, including reduced speed limits. M5E's thanks you for your cooperation. So as you just heard, 
there is a breakdown in the right hand lane. <clears throat> now, it is currently 5.30, which means I have about an hour before my class starts. I've already called the gym and told them that I will, I will most likely be late. How late though? I'm actually not sure because I'm still within the city areas. I'm nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. And it's only just maybe about five minutes ago that um, the incidents response team just passed me. So, and they're only about 100, 200 meters in front of me. So, I don't know how late I'm going to be because where the incident is, is still further ahead. So, I don't know how this is going to pan out. I don't know how late I'm going to be. This sucks. Hopefully no one's injured. Hopefully no one's dead. Hmm. Let's see how we go. Probably can't see me, but that's okay. At the moment, it is 10 past 6. I have made it through the tunnels at the very least. <clears throat> I'm almost there. According to the sign that I'm passing now, the exit that I need to get off at, I'm six kilometers away from, which means I should be about four kilometers away from the main incident. But um, apparently there's been a number of incidents this afternoon slash this evening. I have seen three different emergency response teams out on the side of the road already. So some parts of the of this motorway is also raining as well which does not help either so yeah but i'm hoping because i am so close that i will make it i've still got i've got under 20 minutes to get to class so i should be okay but still it does not help this just i was really hoping for a nap but it's not it's, it's not gonna happen Oh dear, my body is going to hate me. That would be another reason why I'm feeling like sluggish in terms of my body. Like I feel fat because I'm not getting enough sleep either because of all this work that I'm doing at the moment. Because my body's not having enough or adequate time to recover. But uh, yeah, almost there, almost there. So I am absolutely exhausted. Zumba was good, they loved the new playlist. Pound was good, they loved the class. I come home to shit in my tub, literally. One of the cats had pooed and weed in my shower. Disgusting. It's not what I want to come home to. Especially after being up since 2.30 a.m. I'm so done. I ended up buying some Chinese, some Thai food, sorry. And I've got my na my nachos, corn chips there. I wish I had nachos. So I'm gonna eat that, watch some vlogs, and go have a shower and go to bed because I'm wrecked. <sighs> I will see you tomorrow. Bye.